So right now in this video, this is probably my biggest and most important tutorial I've ever taught you, I've ever taught anyone. Over the next eight minutes I reckon it's going to be, I'm going to teach you something that I wish I had discovered personally those nine or ten years ago, you know. It would have saved me so much hard work, it would have saved me so many failed attempts to get alkaline myself as well. You know, my ability to get amazing results with people is all coming down to this, what I'm going to teach you in this video. It's all about following a system, a set of steps, a set of strategies, and then making those steps and strategies as easy as possible to implement. I've built the system and now I'm going to teach you not only the system, but also the simple steps to make it easy to implement and super enjoyable. But I'm going to start today's lesson with an admission. I am not perfect with my diet and I'm not 100% alkaline. I never have been and the chances are, you know, I never will be. I still have off days, I still sometimes have an off week, I still have ups and downs just like you. But now, I, you know, I feel like I'm in a place that's got perfect balance that works brilliantly for me. It works in my life and it gives me the health the energy and the vitality that I want and that I need while still giving me the flexibility to have a social life and still have some fun. And this is where I want you to be, you know, this is where this video is going to get you. Now my other admission is that it took me a long, long time to get alkaline and stay alkaline until I felt that I'd got it sorted, you know. It didn't happen for years, well after I'd started Energize. And it certainly wasn't, a, you know, an easy route for me. It didn't happen overnight. It wasn't like an overnight success. It took a lot of years of trial and error. Now, I'm admitting these things to you because I don't want you to feel like I'm perfect or, you know, that I've got some kind of superhuman ability to just be alkaline from day one. I absolutely certainly don't have that. I didn't have that. Nothing of the sort. But the best part of this is I have also had the ups and downs just like you, you know. I've had the total crashes just like you. I've struggled with motivation. I've been confused. I've been exhausted. And I've been exasperated just like you have along the way, you know. We all have those ups and downs. I've learned from every single experience that I've had and I can happily say to you now that I'm living alkaline and I have been for some years and the lesson in this video is going to help you to get so much closer to that place too, you know, where you feel like you've got that balance that gives you the alkaline and the energy, and the energy that you want without giving up your social life. Now the other part is by going through all these lessons it's meant that I've been able to fine tune my approach and this approach that I'm about to teach you today is really simple, it's really powerful and it's really easy to stick to you know. In fact all three videos that I've created with you starting today is going to be just the same and it's going to reveal this exact system to you. So let's start today with the first lesson. This lesson is called Crowd Out the Bad. Now everyone that I've taught this to has absolutely loved it and the best part is it's a system so it works for everyone and quite wonderfully it practically for everyone that I've taught it to has gotten better results with it than even I have you know. This is a system that works and people love it. Now to be honest it might seem a little bit controversial at first, in fact it did actually make a few people angry in this industry that I work in when I first started talking about it because it seemed like I was cheating the system a little bit, you know, or at least I was cheating their approach a little bit, you know, the sort of slow kind of hard work, willpower based approach because let's face it, that traditional way of dieting very, very, very rarely works, you know, willpower alone is never ever enough. So, you know, I don't really see this as controversial and I definitely didn't see it as cheating and I still don't. But that didn't mean that I wasn't a little bit nervous when I first started to share it. You know, I kept it pretty low key for quite a few months, in fact, probably over a year. Uh, and I've kept it really, really close to just a few people that I know and that I've trusted and that I could teach it to and, and kind of use as my guinea pigs. But they've all loved it and it's worked like crazy, so I can share it with you now. Now, you know, I honestly wouldn't have believed that it would have made such a difference for them, that it would have made it so easy to get alkaline if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, you know. Within a few weeks, they were not only totally cruising towards their health goals, but they were loving the process and finding it so so easy, you know. If you're currently just getting started or if you feel like you're an alkaline novice or even if you've been on the alkaline path for years, it will work brilliantly because it makes life easier and it makes everything so much more fun and so much more relaxed, you know. It makes getting healthy and getting to your health goals something that you can enjoy now. So quite simply, today's lesson is this. When you're trying to get alkaline, focus only on getting the good food in. 
Now I'm sure that sounds pretty simple to you, I hope it does, it should, and here are the three really simple rules of success with today's video lesson. Rule number one is quite simply this, don't worry about cutting stuff out. So seriously, you can forget about having to cut anything out. You can do what you want, you know. If you still want to have a coffee, go and have a coffee. If you still want to have meat with your dinner for now, have that meat, you know. If you still want a dessert after dinner, have that dessert. Re in reality, there is a very, very slight but very powerful distinction here that you are having a conversation with your subconscious mind and with your conscious mind to make considered decisions. You're not mindlessly having these foods, instead you're consciously allowing yourself the possibility of having them and that's a really important distinction. You're not restricting yourself, you're not going cold turkey with anything and you're not telling your brain that things are banned. Now I know this sounds too good to be true right now but it's not. This is the reality of what I'm teaching you right now and it really truly works. When you take that pressure away this stuff works. Now, of course, you could take this to the extreme and have like, I don't know, 10 Mars bars for breakfast, but I guess, and I'm trusting that you're at least a little bit interested in your health if you're watching this video with me and you've been on this journey with me for a while. So you're probably gonna be like most of the people that come to me, generally pretty healthy, even if just a little bit, and you know, with maybe a few or maybe a few more vices, food you love or treats, or even a few like, uh, you know, health addictions that you wanna kick like coffee or chocolate or sugar or yeast or all those sorts of things. So I'm presuming that you're in this position of, of you know, being generally healthy and wanting to improve your health. And if you are, this thing works like absolute crazy. I mean, but even if you're not, even if you are in the deep fried Mars bar with deep fried ice cream for breakfast crowd, this will still actually work. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So just make a mental note right now of rule number one. You don't have to stress or worry about cutting any of the bad stuff out. Just erase that worry from your thinking right now. Relax, enjoy and Im approach your health free from pressure and free from anxiety and forget for now about cutting the bad stuff out. Now, of course, that leads us nicely onto rule number two, which is focusing on getting the good stuff in. So here is the other side of the bargain, you know? You thought rule number one sounded crazy, really good. Here's the other side of the bargain. But to be honest, it's not all that bad either. Now, you, you basically, you're allowed to completely forget about eliminating all of the bad stuff, but you have to get the good stuff in in abundance. You have to eat your greens, you have to have your salads, you have to have your juices and your smoothies, you have to have your healthy fats and you have to have your veggies. This is just the deal. Now, to make this a little bit more real for you, here's a couple of examples. So, you could still have your steak dinner, but you have to have it with a gigantic salad or some steamed veggies that are dressed with a, some sort of omega-3 rich healthy dressing or something like that, you know. Or you could still have a pizza, but you have to have loads of veggies on top and serve it with a big, huge salad. You could still have a dessert, but your main course would need to have at least five serves of veggies with it. Or you can still have a coffee, but you have to promise that you have at least 500 mils of alkaline water first and after. And you can even have a sneaky treat for a snack, but only and only after you've had some raw veggies to snack on first or some nuts and seeds or something like that. So this is keeping it very, very basic, but you'll soon see how you can weave this into your life. Basically, you know, and really effectively, the premise here is that the good foods will crowd out the bad foods bit by bit. If you commit to this, if you commit to, like, for example, having at least like seven serves of green vegetables each day, three litres of alkaline water each day, a fresh veggie juice or a smoothie or something at least two or three times a week, preferably more than that, but at least that and so on, you're going to build on this every day and every week and every month and soon you'll find that you're getting more and more alkaline and you're eating more and more healthy you know, life-giving, energy-giving foods, but at your own natural pace that's right for you. Now, the good thing is here that you're also going to feel more satisfied and more energized as time goes on because the unhealthy foods are so nutrient-poor and the healthy foods are nutrient-dense. Like, as an example, have you ever eaten like a McDonald's or some other kind of takeaway and felt really full at the time but then found yourself really hungry like 45 minutes later? These foods are chemically designed to create this exact reaction in your body. 
even foods that aren't as processed as this, you know, just normal junk foods are so nutrient poor that they'll tell your body that you're, you know, you're really, really hungry really, really quickly because your body can process a bulk of the food that you've eaten through your digestive system really quickly. And when it receives no nutrients from that food, it's going to tell you that you're hungry again, you know. This is why people that are on an over acidic diet overeat because their body is always starved of nutrients and so their body is always demanding more and more food and people then throw more and more nutrient poor foods in you know sugars and trans fats and yeasty foods and then it just compounds you know the more they eat the more the body asks for it because they've now got the sugar addictions and the yeast addictions and the candida addictions so the bigger this craving gets the more it gets craved and it's a vicious cycle and it goes on and on and on now healthy alkaline foods on the other hand are nutrient dense when you eat them you feel satisfied for longer because they give your body the nutrients that it's craving so when you focus on getting the good stuff in it is like a, a, a physical like certainty that these foods are going to crowd the bad foods out you know a, a quick example now like most people would say that a salad isn't that filling but if you ate a big bowl of spinach, rocket, lettuce, tomato, avocado and some, and, and some brown rice or some quinoa or something, I bet you 30 minutes later you wouldn't be able to fit a McDonald's in. Or at least you wouldn't feel the need to fit something, you know, junk food in. So getting full, getting satisfied, getting satiated every day is really easy when you focus on the good foods. So this rule number two, focus on getting the good stuff in, really, really works. Each meal must start with something good first and your plate has to be clean of the good stuff before you've finished, okay? So that's rule number two, focus on getting the good stuff in because this will crowd out the bad foods nutritionally and with energy and with everything else. The more good food you eat, the less bad food you're even gonna want to eat. So let's move now on to rule number three. And rule number three is to quite simply follow your instincts and let me explain. Now this rule is the best bit of the whole approach and this is what I love so much about it and why it works so well. So the traditional approach to the alkaline diet and really any healthy living plan requires you to start off by cutting out loads of unhealthy foods and replacing them with loads of healthy foods. It immediately puts you on the back foot and makes it a challenge and something that you have to battle with from day one. You know, you have to battle with your habits, you have to battle with the foods that you love and the foods that you're used to cooking, the foods you're used to eating. It's telling you to change all of that from day one. However, when you use this approach, the approach I'm teaching you now, you're letting your subconscious decide when you're ready to progress to the next step. So here's how it works. The more alkaline you get and the more alkaline you, you, know, you live, the more alkaline you are going to get. It's like the rich get richer analogy. It compounds and it snowballs. You can start as slowly as you like with this approach. I'll give you the full license to start as slowly as you like because the best part about it is as you focus on getting the good stuff in, you will naturally start to remove the bad stuff. So let me explain with a little bit more depth. There's basically going to be a combination of conscious and subconscious motivations and de decision makings at play. The conscious motivations is going to be this. The better you feel, the more likely you will be to want to make the right health choices throughout the days. After a few days or a few weeks or even a few months, you'll find yourself wanting to say no to certain foods or drinks, certain health choices, because you're feeling so great, you don't want to change that. You don't want to lose how you're feeling. You know, you're going to get more picky with your treats and save your blowouts for social events that matter, rather than just, you know, casually having a random dessert or a chocolate bar or casually having a bottle of wine for no apparent reason. You're going to choose the times that you want to have a blowout or choose the times that you want to go out and be social and have some fun. Now, the second part of this is your subconscious. Now, your subconscious is a really fast learner and it's going to work on rewards and the longer you do this the better and better you'll start to feel. Your brain will notice that the actions you're taking equal a positive response in your body and it will put two and two together very quickly. The best part of this is is that it will then start to act as a healthy filter for you. You'll stop noticing temptations, you, you'll stop even being drawn towards them, they won't even, you won't even see them. I mean, have you ever been, to, you know, in a good, healthy place in your mind? You know, you've been living healthy for a while, and when you go gro shopping at the grocery store, as you head down that chiller aisle, that you know, you're so focused on finding the right healthy foods that you're looking for on that aisle, you don't even see the ice cream freezer. 
You know, your brain just filters it out for you. And this approach that I'm teaching right now is so fantastic, and it's fantastic because of this. It allows you to cut foods out and make healthier choices on autopilot. Your brain does it for you subconsciously. So there's no pain, there's no hard work, there's no stress, there's no anxiety, there's no willpower needed, you don't have to work at it. You just get gradually and gradually more and more alkaline and more and more healthy, energized and full of vitality on autopilot. And this is why this works so well and why it's gonna work so well for you and why it's worked for every single person that I've coached this to to implement it. Everyone who tries this approach ends up in the same place. They end up with incredible energy, they end up with incredible vitality, they end up alkaline and full of health, but with a social life, with room for flexibility, room for going for social events and, and to engagements and parties and stuff, but with a strong motivation that is now ingrained with them that allows them to have treats without falling off the cliff, you know, without going backwards for months and months every time they have a blowout. It breeds success and the more you do it, the better it gets.